Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Bobby. And together, we, we are, are your, your travel, travel gurus. gurus. Today's adventure brings us to Genoa or Genova, Italy. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to get around Genoa. If you come here on a cruise ship, you only have one day to get around and we're going to give you the best way to look around the city in a short amount of time. Genoa is one of the largest ports in the northern Mediterranean. This ancient city was founded in the 5th or 6th century BCE. While this is an ancient port, it's also a modern port. Seeing cruise ships, cargo ships, and car ferries coming through daily. Now that we're in Genoa, let's show you how to get around the city. There's a couple different ports, and if you come into this one, just walk right out the front and head over to the main cruise port building by walking along this boardwalk. If you happen to disembark from the main cruise port building, just come right out the front. The architecture here is beautiful. It's one of the nicest cruise ports that we've seen in almost any city. From this building, just head straight out. This is going to be the security checkpoint where you show your cruise badge or your medallion to get back into the cruise port area. Once you head out, stay to the right and walk along the sidewalk there. Until you get to the curve, there's another crosswalk there. Cross that crosswalk and then take a right. Follow along the buildings there on the sidewalk. You're going to get to an open area. This is going to lead to the side of a very old church that the buildings have been built around. There's a little alleyway between the front building and the church. Head between that alleyway and then take a left at the church. If it's open, go inside and check it out. It's a very neat church. But if you're trying to head up to where we're going, then head up the alleyway and you're going to come into the main plaza area. Uh, across the way it's going to be the main train station and there's going to be a really cool statue in the middle. Um, we'll come back to this later. If you're ever going to Milan, this is the train station you're going to take. But from here, we're going to head up towards one of the cool things that we found in Genoa and we want to show it to you. So just head to the corner and cross the crosswalk to the middle island. Take a right and go to the very point of it. There's another crosswalk and cross that. They're going to go down this little alleyway. This is going to be the point where if you wanted to skip this funicular ride we're taking, then go to part two of the video. And this is where we're going to start from in part two of the video. Now it's time to put the fun in funicular. I hear you asking over there, what is a funicular and why are we talking about this on our travel show? A funicular is a cable railroad, especially popular on mountainsides, in which the ascending and descending cars work as counterbalances with each other. Now, let us show you this fun funicular that we found here in Genoa. The car that you ride into could take about six people total. Did you read the book, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator? I did. And this reminds me of that book. This is one of the things in Genoa that I really wanted to do. Being an engineer and just tackling different things that have to do with mechanics and engineering, I really looked forward to seeing this and how the motors work and how the gears work. And once we came into the room, where all the motors and all of the pulleys and the wheels and everything were, I was just amazed. And other people may not find this as interesting as I do, but if you're really into the mechanical part of things, you will get a kick out of this. As you see here, the other vernacular is coming out that came from the top of the mountain. This one switches off with us and we go into the lift part of the vernacular. Now it's time to go up.
One of the cute little quaint spots that we found when we came out of the elevator was a little coffee shop. The vernacular comes out right here on the street and just a couple of doors down, there's a cute little coffee shop that we really enjoyed. Got a couple of shots of espresso. The locals are in there using it. It's really neat. But the best part about the top of the mountain is this amazing castle that's up here. It is super cool. Um, it's not open very early. I think it opens at like 10. Um, I'll post the hours right here. And once you've seen the castle and, and you want to walk back down instead of taking the vernacular, we walked back down. Just head around the corner, cross this crosswalk, and there's a cool little walkway that you can walk down. Partway down, you'll find a cool little set of stairs. Take those down and you'll get a really neat view of a old church that you probably wouldn't see unless you came this way. A lot of these churches are hidden behind other buildings and forgotten. After you get to the bottom of the stairs, you get to the street, take a left and walk all the way down the street until you get to the open area with the trees on the left. Behind the trees, there's a walkway that brings you down between these two little buildings. You take those stairs down and it'll bring you to this open area where you can see part of the old wall that was used to protect the city. After you come out from the stairs, take a left. Head towards the road and follow the sidewalk to the left. It's going to curve left. From here, you're going to be able to see the plaza that we came out into earlier with the statue and the main train station. Keep heading down the sidewalk and get back to our spot where we went in from the vernacular. This is where we're going to start the second video, part two. So if you don't want to do the vernacular and you want to skip that part and you don't want to see it, this is where part two is going to start. When you join us for part two, we're going to show you one of the coolest churches in all of Italy with some of the most rare and amazing artwork you're ever going to find. We're going to find one of the biggest museums with some amazing, beautiful, original artwork. And I'm going to show you some of the rarest coins you're ever going to see in person. Some of them go back to BC, Greece. And don't forget about the cool plazas and some of the amazing architecture in Genoa. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and get ready for part two. Thanks for joining us.